90 days until happily ever after, or 90 days until becoming an American citizen. With these international couples, we bet the latter. It's gross. Sure, there are some people who prove to find love within just two months, but they're definitely not on this list. Whether it be because of the couple's large age gaps, their explosive arguments, I am coming back now. Or their obvious need for a green card, the odds of these foreign fiancés being genuinely in love after just 90 days are not in their favor. Amira and Andrew Immigrating to America is not easy, but if you are an attractive woman looking for an American husband, it's not too hard to get that passport stamped. Many have accused French native Amira for using Andrew to get a green card and for fame. They may be right because after they got engaged, Amira was emotionally abusive, and Andrew even ran a smear campaign against her. She has since moved on to another American man, which fuels her reputation as a green card digger even more. Aswelu and Kilani. This couple was full of family drama. After their time on the show, fans were shocked to hear that Kalani said she wanted to leave Aswelu after she claims his mom and sister attacked her for not sending them money. They are telling me that I brainwash you. Plus, there were a lot of cultural barriers that just made it all too complicated. On top of that, they had a lot of money trouble on their own and slept in different beds. It seems like they're tolerating each other more than genuinely being in love. Big Ed and Rose These two were standouts from the show. Not only were they an odd couple due to their large age gaps, but he was definitely not honest about his intentions. He knew from the beginning that it was Rose's dream to have a lot of kids, but after meeting in person, he said he didn't want to have any. He was also brutally honest, saying that she had bad breath and that she should shave her legs for him. If you shave your legs, I'll shave my beard. Why? Meanwhile, Rose pointed out that he had lied about his height and stood up for herself by calling him out for being condescending. It looks like Rose found her voice, and Ed was just not marriage material. David and Lana Most of us recognize that the advertisements on the side of our screen calling for hot Russian singles are likely to be nothing more than a scam. But not David. He spent $100,000 talking to Lana and had chatted for over 5,000 hours before trying to meet up in person, only to be stood up as Lana gave him the wrong address. This caused the 6-year-old to hire a private investigator to look for the 29-year-old, and when he finally found her, Lana accepted the ring and a new phone, but would never text him back. She claimed that her nails were too long to type messages, but continued to use the same dating website where she met David. If you still don't get the hint by now, David, we'll decode it for you. She probably was after your wallet, not you. Mike and Natalie These two were always at each other's throats. She can be a little bit bizarre and has insulted Mike many times. While Mike never seemed to be into the relationship at all, and has been accused of infidelity, no detection of a single drop of love here. Brittany and Yazin Foreign couples often struggle with culture shock, and Brittany was definitely in for one when she visited Jordan and brought booze with her, something that was not acceptable to Yazin's Muslim family. To make matters worse, Yazin found out she had scandalous social media pictures posted, and oh yeah, that she was still married to another man. We don't know what strings Britney was trying to pull, but genuine feelings don't seem to be involved. Colt and Larissa Couples fight here and there, but have you seen a fight go so bad that it led to an arrest? Larissa would feud with not just Colt, but his family as well. They were fighting so much he had to call the police, and they took Larissa to jail not once, not twice, but three times. Larissa was arrested again. Larissa even flushed their wedding ring down the toilet, and eventually their marriage went down that direction as well, as they divorced in 2019. Azin and Nicole They say love conquers all, but we'll never know with this couple, because they had a lot of money troubles that led to them indefinitely delaying their wedding. This eventually led to Azin ghosting Nicole, but it's later revealed that this was the result of him being in jail. But that's probably not why their love story didn't have a happy ending, because he said he was barely attracted to Nicole. I'm attracted to Nicole, but just like, for example, 55%. Viewers believe Azin simply wanted to get his green card and use the money to fund his upcoming business ventures. We bet Nicole was glad the wedding didn't go through. Darcy and Jesse 
These two seemingly had a loving relationship, but after issues with binge drinking on Darcy's part and Darcy claiming Jesse to be manipulative and dishonest, the two stopped contacting each other after their breakup. It got even messier as Darcy was accused of stalking Jesse after they called it quits, and he threatened her with legal action because of it. Being in love and being obsessed are not the same thing. Ashley and Jay While vacationing in Jamaica, Ashley thought she met the love of her life in Jay and that they would raise her two kids together. But given that he's only 22 and she's 34, she probably should have seen the red flags. Not long after they married, Jay got onto dating sites to talk to other women. She told him that if he shows up at her house, the police would be waiting to deport him. What if he comes home? I am calling the police. A green card hunter and a cheater? That's a big no. Molly and Louie Sometimes you just wonder how couples ended up together in the first place. That's the case with Molly and Louie, who had a large age gap, were in constant screaming matches, and he showed creepy behavior towards her daughter. Soon after their divorce, Louie quickly married another woman. They had the perfect formula for a loveless marriage. Lita and Eric they say when you marry a man, you marry into their family as well. This is something Lita should have learned before she married Eric, who has a teenage daughter, Tasha, that she did not get along with at all. Tensions were so high that she convinced Eric to kick her out of the home and had to file a restraining order against Tasha. It put me into a position where I had to choose between her or Lita. Lita also had a history of compulsive lying, stating that she's a model, actress, teacher, and medical school graduate in Indonesia. But that could not be verified. This marriage just screams red flags. Danielle and Mohammed. These two were considered the messiest couple to ever grace the show. Aside from their large age gap with Danielle being 41 years old and Mohammed 26, they really didn't have much in common. After meeting in an online chat room before the show, they've surprisingly got married even though her children questioned his intentions. And their intuitions were right, because just two weeks after, he fled. Mohammed revealed that he was never attracted to Danielle, said that she stinks, and refused to get intimate with her citing religious reasons. But we have a feeling that was not why. She was no saint either because, it turns out, she lied about her bad checks, credit card frauds, and had a mountain of debt. Unsurprisingly, the couple divorced in March 2017. And by October 2017, Danielle felt used and ended up suing him for paying his expenses and even tried to get him kicked out of the country. It's safe to say they definitely shouldn't have gotten married. Anfisa and George when someone makes it clear they're only in it for the money, it probably isn't a good idea to think the marriage will be a loving one. It's he promised to get me whatever I want. What had begun as a romantic spark on Facebook took a dramatic turn with explosive fights and ended in George landing in jail for possession of illegal substances. In her defense, Anfisa said he was only ever in it for her looks and that he cheated, lied, and never stood up for her. You can buy a lot of things, but you can't buy love. Mark and Nikki Imagine being 58 years old and marrying someone in their teens. That's what happened with Mark who married 19-year-old Nikki, who's younger than all his adult children. Viewers were especially uncomfortable when he started treating her like a child. They met online before he proposed to the Philippine native and made her sign a prenup. That definitely screams love. <laughs> Not. Although marriages for some have multi-purposes, it's safe to say that a lot of the problems these couples have would have been avoided if they made commitments out of genuine love. Which couple do you think was the worst? Who was the most unauthentic? And who do you think deserves better? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video if you want to stay up to date on the latest reality TV news, and we'll see you next time on The Things Reality.